Hey all you salty dogs, today we are going to talk about the time that I refloated a sailboat with a can of Pabst Blue Ribbon. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So it was December of 2018 and we were staying down at Point Hudson Marina for that period of time. And I didn't have the truck up here, so what we had to do is every time I need to get groceries, we had to come over here to the boat haven. And so we pulled into this spot right here. And as soon as we stepped off the boat, this is what we saw. It was crazy seeing that boat sunk right here at the dock. And about that time, a bunch of kids showed up and they had the little rescue boats. They've got this awesome little rescue organization around here they like run around to these little ribs and they help people out they pull people off of beaches and it's an all-volunteer organization absolutely fantastic group of people that do that thing and so they were getting ready to salvage this boat they had another salvage going on at the same time and so the kids were kind of thrown into the thing here and being ex-navy having a little bit of experience in the crane business i jumped out and i said hey do you guys need a hand and they're like sure you know if you we're, we're just kind of winging this so if you want to give a hand sure and so what we wound up doing is the the sailboat was right here where this one is here and so what we wound up doing to, to get it out of there is it was high tide like it is now so you can see this piling behind me there was a uh, <clears throat> about this much of it sticking out of the water and so what we did around the top of this piling is we put a choker right there and that choker was used to go down to a bridle on the back of the boat now this boat has a little bit different transom the that bay liner has a slope transom and then it has a set of rings on either side because that is technically a trailerable sailboat it's like a 27 footer so you can trail that boat and so what we did is we rigged up a bridle there and then down on the other end here at this uh piling here we rigged up another bridle to the front of the boat well the problem is then is the boat was hanging completely down in the water and being completely down hanging by its mooring lines what that meant was is that the lifelines were now underneath the edge of the dock right here and so in order to get it up what we had to do is we went and got some boards we shoved it under the dock and pulled it back and then we ran lines down to the cleats on the other side of the dock here whoop, whoop, get cleats we ran the lines down to the cleats on the other side of the dock here and then we were able to pull those lines taut and what it did was push the boat out from underneath the dock and then we had two things working for us one the tide was going out so the dock was going down and the boat was staying stationary because it was tied to the pilings. Well, we finally get to the boat to the point where it is out of the water, far enough that we can start pumping on it. Well, we have to find a way to plug the hole in it. And what had happened, how the boat sank, was uh, somehow the owner managed to break off the through hole for the toilet. And so having that big hole there, she just went straight down. And that's a pretty good sized hole. I mean, that's a fairly large hole. And so one of the things that we wound up trying to plug the hole was like, you know, we couldn't find anything, couldn't find anything. They didn't have a plug that was big enough. And so we used a can of Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. That was floating inside of the boat to plug the hole. Put a little toilet seal wax around that, sealed her right up. We were able to get the combings above the water, pumped her out, and she was on her way. She floated all night like that and they hauled her out in the morning. It was a pretty crazy adventure. I just wanted to share that with you. We'll catch y'all later. Bye. Join us on next week's episode where we begin the big refit, starting by tearing down the head.